Alright, so I cover up the damage from both sides. Now I'm going to look at to another category of the weapon stat, and that is the rate of fire. Basically, how many rounds you, you dish out. Now, of course, the minigun, the Vulcan minigun, has the highest rate of fire in the game, so we're going to go for that. And of course, the second place and runner-up is, of course, the micro gun, or even the two flamethrowers. So, I'm gonna, of course, gonna go with the mass of a team flamethrower since it does the exact same damage as the other flamethrower, except it's in a secondary slot, you can have more concealment. So, sadly, there's no other way to increase the weapon's rate of fire. Now, of course, you can for the pistol, but I calculate how much rate of fire you can dish out, but the, even the Akimbo Glock 18s don't ha does cannot reach the same rate of fire as the minigun. And remember, you despite what the stat says for the Akimbo weapons, like an SMG for example, they sh fire the exact same in like a solo versions. Don't forget, you're firing two SMGs as opposed to one. So you basically have doubled of each of the stats besides the magazine, besides the magazine total of ammo, accuracy and stability of course. The rate of fire and damage doubles. So let's look at a close rate of fire. Like the Mac 10s. You're firing these things twice, so you're firing actually 2000 RPM with the Mac 10 as opposed to 1000. It only says 1,000 for each hand. But remember, if you just fire, of course, both, of course, like in this game, that's 2,000. But, of course, if, sadly, the miniguns still have the highest. And the SFG used to have a skill to increase its rate of fire, but they decided to remove it. Pretty much removing one of the skills that was one of the best things about the SMGs and makes it unique compared to an assault rifle. So, the skills not really matter. These are the ones I have, just for the high rate of fire. So, without further ado, let's put some round down range. What's the better way to fire all cylinders in Mall Crasher? Right, off to a nice start. Remember to take your 
But, in my opinion, I prefer the micro gun over the minigun due to the having a little bit more damage. And, of course, most of the time I would first fire with the minigun, even though the whole purpose is to fire full auto. Sorry about that, I accidentally uh, kicked the cord off of my uh, headset. But I was saying, the reason I always like the whole purpose of the minigun is just fire full auto, just for the fun. Oh, here's crits. Oh my god. Why is it so good? It doesn't feel right. Which one is that? Green dozer. Oh my, nope, let me inside. Even a crit flamer, oh my god. Oh my god, unseen strike. Why has no one told me about it? Seriously, I might just play pub steps on this one down, just running this build. An ICTV with an unseen strike. No joke, I would... I probably would do it one to point. Okay, I know... Body expertise and unseen strike would be nuts for sure. But sadly, that would be way too much investment to the skill points I need. against the uh, headphones. So yeah, of course, just like the RPG, if you play the Crime Edition, you have the minigun absolutely free. Well, on PC, you had to get the overkill weapon pack. And I see a lot of people pair this with an RPG many times. But now we have a micro gun. There's probably a lot more variety now to choose from. Peter, you want extra 10 more damage? Or an extra thousand RPM. It's 
so brutal with this rate of fire. It's just so good. Overkill. Enough said. See you at the safe house. It's really amazing. Thank you for watching, guys. Until next time, we will be doing the slowest rate of fire. Until next time, farewell, and have a wonderful day, everyone.